everyone and welcome back to another snail mail episode and oh my gosh this one is going to be so busy you guys have been amazing when I went to the PO box this time I opened it up and it was just stuffed full of letters I could hardly wiggle it all out it was really awesome and I sent a letter like a little picture of it to chips and I was like chips look at this look at how much stuff people have sent and he's like holy cow that's a lot of stuff so there's a lot of stuff you guys and I almost couldn't get it all out of my PO box I was so excited my bag was actually heavy as I was walking up the stairs back into our apartment so there's a lot to go through and because there's a lot to go through I might be moving a little bit faster today and I might even break it up into two parts but as always I am so so excited to see your guys' letters, to see your pictures, your messages. I had a couple letters this time where you guys clearly wrote, please open off camera on the back. I totally did that. I've already added in the amazing artwork that was sent in those letters into our wonderful scrapbook, which by the way, you guys, ugh, look at this. <laughs> I am going to have to put some of these in a new scrapbook pretty soon. This is from one month. This is from three weeks of having uh, the P.O. box open. And this would be the fourth week, I believe. And I'm just blown away. You guys have been amazing. You guys have been so amazing. And it has been... It's just one of the most special things, especially when I am just feeling kind of low on energy and I need a little bit of inspiration to pop it back open and be like, oh, it's that awesome artwork of when we all had like the egg throwing contest at Pavo's place or more I kind of just threw eggs around the place and, and Pavo was like, no, why are there so many flamingos or flamingos, so many peacocks everywhere and just all of your messages and your ideas and your requests to see what sort of games we could play together. It's just, it's fantastic. And I absolutely love it. And it means so much to me. And I really hope that we can continue just to share these adventures together. And you guys can continue to give me insight into what they mean for you and what kind of wonderful creative things you guys have been up to. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because like I said, there's a lot of letters this time and I am really excited to see what's hiding inside of them because we've got like some little packages this time too. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so awesome. I split them up and I hope I put all of the more recent letters in this pile. And then these are the, the or these are the older letters and these are the more recent. So I'm trying to go in order. We'll see how that works. And let's start with the first one. Oh my goodness, it's like Christmas every weekend. It's amazing. Okay. So this is from New York, and I believe I can see the first name, Tiana. So this is Tiana, and she drew some really pretty flowers. There's even a little flower stamp, which I love. I love flower stamps. And let's very carefully go ahead. Oh, we're starting, you guys. <laughs> you think every week I would get used to this. And I'm going to very gently, very gently, oh, and it's inside. Please open on camera. Well, it's a good thing that I am already doing that. So there we go. So let's go ahead and see what is inside here. All right, and then this is a private letter, and this is really cute, and I'm really glad I see a P.S. I'm just glancing over it real quick. P.S. I love warrior cats. I'm really, really glad you do. So I will go ahead and read this in just a little bit, and we will go ahead and share the other things. Oh my gosh, the other artwork. Oh, look guys, it's Mosley from our warrior cat series. I am so excited to fan art of mostly start trickling in. It's going to be amazing to see all of the kits and all of the different cats we're going to have in our series. Look at her. She's even got the little green hue onto her fur the way that she has uh, in our series. Oh, and then trying to lure me back into playing Pixelmon, are we? Are we? With my favorite Pokemon of all time, Oddish. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. What a cute little Oddish. Oh my goodness. And then my other favorite Pokemon. One of my other deeply held favorites, the Chikorita. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ashleaf, Daisy Leaf, I miss them so much. I really do think I will be dragging my feet back into Pixelmon sooner than later, you guys. Just to let you know, I have a feeling that's going to be happening. So thank you so much for the awesome mail. And I will be reading your letter. And I'm really excited. I just want to glance again. Ah, da, 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 da. Really excited, Tiana. Oh, I get, I get so curious about the letters. So thank you. I'm so happy to know that you are enjoying our Warrior Cat series and that you clearly enjoy Pokemon, which makes me really desperate to maybe think about the Pixelmon series again, either to be a Pixelmon Ranger again, or to maybe be a researcher or even a Pixelmon Farmer. I mean, I'm not sure how you'd be a Pixelmon Farmer with like farming oddish. I'm really not sure like where that like do you turn them into salad? I really hope not. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure how you would 
farm oddish. Maybe they help keep the soil healthy to grow plants. Hmm. So <laughs> clearly I'm already thinking up ideas and if I'm on a trail of an idea then you know pretty soon something like a new series is going to be popping up. So thank you so much for your letter. I'm, oh, Oddish. I love Oddish. All right. So let's see. Like I said, we've got a lot to go through. So if I'm moving a little quicker than usual, I apologize, you guys. I promise you I spend way long. I actually take the books out, uh, the scrapbooks out on the deck and lay out on the deck and flip through them again and again. And I just need that little boost of inspiration or just a little bit of creative energy. And that's, these mean so much to me, you guys. They really do. All right. So we have Annabelle from Oklahoma. And let's gently wiggle this open. It's even got a little drawing of a snail for the snail mail right there, which is really cute. Let's go ahead and wiggle this open. And you may hear Aussie Eye singing over there in his little uh, cage. They're getting ready for another breeding season, so I'm gonna have to get the vlog channel up and going for that, because my birds are very much ready to have their own space and nest again. And then, oh wow! Here's Foxfire. So Annabelle has drawn Foxfire right here. Oh my goodness, there's something that says Cat Life on the back. Look at that, it's a character saying hello in Cat Life. But yeah, I think we have a Warrior Cats fan on our hands, you guys. All right, oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's Moss Leaf. Oh, so this is like, I think, I think this is, do, 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 do. Um, Annabelle, there we go. Sorry, I had to double check where your name was, Annabelle. I think this is Annabelle's uh, original character, Foxfire, meeting Mossleaf. So that's really adorable. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Hashtag fangirl mode. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. All right, this one says, please read on camera. Dear Siri, my name is Annabelle. I love your videos. My favorite series of yours is The Sims 3 Warrior Cats. I think it's quickly becoming one of my all-time favorite things that we've ever done on the channel. I totally understand Annabelle. If you would add my warrior cat OC Foxfire, she is a warrior and, it is, and, it is, and is an orange tabby with a white patch of fluffy fur on the neck and shoulders. Uh, she's in all the pictures. I love that your videos are educational. Please play Animal Jam. And then your username, if you could make a Minecraft video with LDS, uh, L, LD Shadow Lady. Um, and thank you so much for reading my letter. P.S. Sorry about the randomness, but I'm random. Oh, no, that... Uh, the way I draw my cats look like wolves or dogs, but they are cats. And then she even made a little subscriber button, which is what YouTubers earn when you get a certain number of subscribers. And you get silver when you hit 100,000 and gold when you hit a million. And it's just a really fun way of knowing like, hey, you worked really hard, most likely, on YouTube. So thank you so much. That's so fun that you actually drew me one. See, that's just as much, that's worth just as much as the one that you would earn and put up on your walls and metal. So that is so sweet. And I actually have have no idea how I would contact um, a lot of the other YouTubers. So um, a lot of people don't know that most YouTubers have no idea who the others are. Like you just don't. You might happen to meet some of them. Uh, I don't know L LD Shadow Lady. I know Poet and I know Win from um, like working with them in the past. But that's kind of the tricky thing because I have a lot of requests like, Siri, you should do something with like this person or this person. And as far as we're concerned, we're total strangers. We've never heard of each other. So it's really fun though to look forward to potentially getting a chance to work with so many other content creators. Big names, small names, people who have never done anything on YouTube before, people who have been around for longer than like you can Jake stick out on YouTube. It's really fun just to have the opportunity to have that creative energy. And for me, I really feel like getting all of your guys' mail is part of that creative energy. And also on the subject of original characters, for our Warrior Cat series. I am keeping a list of names and things that are sent in, but there have been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of names. I'm not joking. I think we're up to 400 names. I just added in a lot from the Facebook messages we get. There's probably over 400 names now, and I'm betting a few of those are repeats most likely, so I might have to go through and like pick them through. So I can't exactly specifically add in original characters usually, but sometimes I might go through and like roll a dice and like pick something at random that you guys have sent in because I love that element of trying to add in your ideas and just the randomness of it too. I really love that. So I'm so excited you like our Warrior Cat series. Thank you so much. Oh, and the Foxfire looks beautiful, by the way. I really love seeing all of your guys' original characters you have for the cats. All right, so let's see what we have over here. I think it's more cat-related goodness. Oh, it's a chinchilla. There's a chinchilla on the back and it says Ohana means family and there's a chubby little cat that looks so cute. And so this one is from potentially... Charlie in Georgia. 
I'm going to open this up very carefully so we don't hurt anything that might be inside. And what do we have? Oh, it's a Pokemon card! Oh my goodness! All right, and we've got one that says, don't read aloud, please. We'll be reading that privately, don't you worry. Oh, it's an Eevee card! Oh, that's so fun! I'm going to put it up here. Let's see, with my little shaman that I made out of a piggy bank. <laughs> and I've got my Pokemon games, Pearl, White, Heart Gold. They're all sitting up here. And then let's put you there. And there we go. So now I have the Pokemon card up with all my other little Pokemon stuff. So thank you so much, Charlie. And let's take a peek. Oh, it's a Zootastia fan art. Oh, it's my Zootastia Zoo. What a beautiful sign. Oh my gosh. Look, there's Sunflower. And here's Lily. Oh. Hi everybody, what are they saying? Welcome to Zujessia Zoo. There's so much to do in the zoo. And then I want to go for a ride and feed me from Lily. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. I love the colors on it too. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, and there's our house. I just saw our house up in the background. Oh, thank you so much, Charlie. I will be sure to read your letter privately later too. Oh wait, it says, yeah, yeah, nope. I thought it said read aloud, please. So it says don't read aloud, please. So I will save your letter for a, a little bit later and I will answer you privately later. And then we've got Zoe from New York. A lot of New York letters lately. This is really cool. Oh, and there's some cats on the back. I think we've got some warrior cats coming in. Oh my goodness, there's the feather. They're always catching those colorful feathers. I cannot wait for us to start getting more kits and more action going in the Warrior Cat series. I think you guys are really gonna love it. All right, I'm gonna gently wiggle this open. Oh, so carefully. Ooh, it's full of stuff. It's full of stuff. All right, Zoe, let's see what's hiding in here. Oh my goodness, I think it's so many drawings. Oh my gosh, look at all this. All right, let's see what we've got. Blue Star! I am rereading the first Warrior Cat series right now. So this is Blue Star right here. And I am having a lot of fun um, relearning Blue Star's secrets. Don't spoil it in the comments, you guys. But I am having a lot of fun rereading that series and remembering how amazing it is. All right, and then what do we have here? Wow! Ripple Shade, my own character. So another original character. We've got so many cats coming in today. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm guessing that this is definitely a River Clan cat. Oh, that is so pretty. All right, and then let's see what we have right here. And then, let's see, a bit of maple. And <laughs> oh my gosh, hang on now. Willow Breeze. Oh, so this is Willow Breeze. Crooked Star and a bit of maple shade. Ooh, we're getting into some really good art in here. All right, and then, oh, and these are art, like, this is art from characters from the series, too. Oh my gosh, there will be no battle. And a Scourge. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that name. I may be totally wrong. What elegant cats, wow. Zoe, this is fantastic, thank you. And then, oh my gosh, look at all of the lines on this one. And then, ooh, let's see. Huel Frost, I think. Hello, Siri. <laughs> What's with all the warrior characters? I love that series, and you're making a series about it. From Shadow Kitty Cat. <laughs> yes, Shadow Kitty Cat, you told me I had something coming. Thank you. Look at all of these cats. This is going to be so much fun because there are clearly so many cats that you guys are attached to in the series, and just to start really expanding on our series and start seeing how the cats develop personalities. You guys have already been amazing at like picking out your favorite cats and really cheering them on and observing how their personalities kind of are developing. It's been so much fun. I cannot wait to share more of that with you guys. Zoe, thank you so much. You draw beautiful cats. I really love the swirls on the fur on this one especially. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh, so thank you so much, Zoe. I hope you will continue to enjoy our adventures together. As I thought, there's a lot of warrior cat fan uh, happiness, like hype going on in our letters today. And then we have a letter from, I think, Wisconsin. So let's check out what's hiding inside of this one. Very fun. It's another Pokemon card! <laughs> Today is Pokemon card game and Pokemon day. I think you guys are trying to lure me back into Pixelmon, aren't you? I see how it is. All right, we've got a Pikachu this time to go with our Eevee. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. All right, I'm gonna put it up here. So now Pikachu and Eevee are up there with my pandas from a little while ago. And then let's see, what do we have here? Oh, it's a fun letter. 
It's okay for snail mail. <laughs> Dear Siri, and look at how my name is written with all sorts of beautiful, beautiful flowers and beautiful vines. That is so much fun. All right, dear Siri, I love zoo crafting and watch it every day. I always love to leave comments uh, to share ideas and thoughts and love seeing what the community has com commented on too. Sorry if the art looks terrible, <laughs> like a five-year-old uh, drew it. I'm terrible with marker. I am not good with writing uh, with pen, but I couldn't resist sending fan mail to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for zoo crafting and all the wonderful series that you make. I can't wait for ARC and the Dino Side series. We are going to be having the Dino Suit and actually Chips is away on a trip right now but I'm hoping I can maybe lure him into ARC. If I can't I'll just start on my own at this rate. I always love to see what adventures and what's happening in the zoo. Keep going Siri and you'll hit you'll hit it looks like one it looks like this says 10,000 but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say like a hundred thousand subscribers in no time and it, you know what I'm just so happy with the groups that we have too. It's amazing. Thank you, Siri. Sincerely, Ryan. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Remember kids, don't clone yourself. Siri can't feed a puppy army. That's adorable. It's Pine telling his puppies not to clone themselves. <laughs> that really is something we have to worry about in zoo crafting too. If all my dogs clone themselves yet again, I really wouldn't be able to feed all of them. There's just so many. And then Sunflower's a little nursery. I almost forgot. I love Pokemon and sent a Pikachu card as a gift. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is so cute. I love the little, look at the little nursery we've got right there. Oh, you guys are going to really love it when we get Sunflower's little nursery going. I think you're really going to enjoy it. We're going to have a little sunflower chick soon. And sunflower, for those of you guys who don't know, is our golden chocobo on zoo crafting. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Zoo crafting. Yes. Let's see. The Sirisaurus Pokemon sunflower. It's another collage piece. Look at this. We've got our beautiful trees. And then we've got the Sirisaurus. And then we've got Pokemon, and we've got Sunflower, our wonderful golden chocobo. And I wonder how many of you are even familiar with the Final Fantasy series chocobo are from at this rate. But I'm really, oh, that makes me happy. Look at all that color. Color, doesn't color just make everything better? It's so awesome. Oh, so thank you so, 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 so much, my wonderful friend. All right, let's see. My memory is that of a fruit fly. Ryan, I'm very sorry. I have no memory for names, so it's not personal. Thank you so much. I am so excited to have another Pokemon card to add to my little collection now that you guys have sent in. And it will stay up there with my shaman and my other little bits and bobs that I have, including this really pretty rock that, here, why don't you guys see my really pretty rock just at random? Because it's very lovely. And the pandas from last time, too. And the carrot fish is up there as well. I'll show you guys my desk sometimes if you want. Like, maybe like a little desk vlog that we could do on the vlogging channel. But I digress. Let's keep moving. We're making good progress today. <laughs> and let's see. We have dancing kitty cats and a little slime. And this is from, I think, Tegan from Florida. So let's open this up and see what's hiding inside. Get moving along. I know Birdos. They're singing so happily over there. All right, ooh, look at the color. There's some art in here, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we've got. Whoops. <laughs> we've got Siri with fumble fingers. Oh my goodness, all right. And let's see what's in here. So we've got, ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh! <laughs> Missing Holly, a white pup pup with a blue collar, loves chickens, sweet and shy. Return to one two three four series place. Look at that! Look at that series place, Theodosia. It's another missing poster for Holly. You guys are really gonna love the adventures in zoo crafting very soon because you guys have been missing Holly, and we're definitely gonna be doing something with Holly. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really, really, really awesome. I think you guys are gonna love it. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at her with the little chicks. Isn't that precious? I love that chick too. That is like, I mean, look at it, you guys. It's the fluffiest little, most adorable chick I've seen in a long time. And also a really, a really cute little, like, son. He almost looks like he has a little fangs. That's adorable. Actually, it was really hot today, so it's really fitting to see a song with fangs too. All right, and then let's see what else we have from Tegan here. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Mouse dung, I missed you. Hee <laughs> hee. And then Willow, far away, and the mother Willow. And oh my gosh, there's snakes and turtles. You guys, look at this moss leaf fan art. 
This is so awesome. Tegan, thank you so much. I love seeing our forest spirit willow here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. Read on camera. Dear Siri, I'm Tegan, a.k.a. Sacred AJ, uh, Stay Purple AJ, Tiny Paw the Apprentice, and yeah, I'm 10 years old and obsessed with the Warrior series. I'd be delighted if you read this. I personally want, want to say that I love the OC Sage Foot a fan came up with, so I'm going to draw my OC. Plus the fans OC about you and Mossleaf. But first, here's a prophecy. Shell the cat with the blazes falling. Know thy true name of, of thy best YouTuber of all seasons. Figure that one out. Love, Tegan. P.S. I lived in California since I was nine. I was born there but moved to Florida. That's pretty exciting. I was born in California too, and I moved to Texas uh, when I was 10. And Well, I moved to Missouri when I was three, then Texas when I was 10, then back to Missouri when I was like 12. Uh, no, wait, wait, what? <laughs> anyway, I lived in Texas and Missouri, and now I live in North Carolina. It's really fun to get like kind of a coast-to-coast -coast sort of living experience. So I hope you are enjoying yours, Tegan, and these are adorable cats. I really, really, really love this picture. Look at all that color. Look at the cute little birds. Oh my gosh, all the colorful feathers, all the snakes, willow. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm going to do my best to make the Warrior Cat series absolutely amazing because you guys deserve it. And we are really going to bring it to life with your ideas and excitement. It's going to be awesome. Oh my goodness. So Pokemon and Warrior Cat so far. And then let's go ahead. Here's our last letter that got sent in. And then let's see. Good, good, good. And then this one actually got torn in the mail. So I'm going to try to make sure that everything that should be in here is in here. And then this one's from St. Louis, Missouri. So I actually was just in St. Louis, Missouri. And I grew up next to St. This is more Pokemons. <laughs> I grew up next to St. Louis. And I see Pokeballs. I see Pokeballs. A pit bull and a pokeball right here on the back oh my gosh you guys are trying to pull me back into pixelmon aren't you it's a group conspiracy all right and then ooh, all right that's definitely for an npc so we will be sure to make sure that you get your npc oh gosh oh my all righty oh gosh oh little bracelets the two bracelets i made i would uh love if you were to wear them oh, <laughs> or one of them let's see Let's see. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I've got some of these bracelets from before too. I actually keep them on my desk. Like I said, if you guys had like a desk vlog, you would see I keep a lot of your wonderful creations and your art. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. So let's see who we've got here. And oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to tuck this over here because I'm pretty sure that has to do with planting trees. And then, yes, you're allowed to read on camera. Thank you. Uh, dear Siri, I love your videos. My favorite is zoo crafting. In school, I'm doing a project on animals and, um, and on animal abuse. Oh, goodness. So that's a pretty serious project, too. I would love for you to do an ep a video on it. I play Minecraft. Uh, um, let's see. And oh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. On it, I have Tate, Lily, Ash, and Pine in, on my zoo world. I also have an, uh, I also have my wolf exhibit. One of the wolves is named Siri. Oh, thank you so much. So you've got all of our puppies, more or less, and then it's like me as a wolf, that's so cool. And let's see, uh, you inspired me to build a zoo. Can you please shout out to my channel? And let's see, Paul and 1124. <laughs> and if I said that wrong, I'm really sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm like blushing. Oh my goodness. And then let's see, and NPC. Because, do, 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 yay, yay, all right, and I will be happy to make you an NPC, and then, yep, 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 something involving wolves, oh, that's perfect timing, because we're going to start releasing the wolves to the wild, so thank you so much, and this is, um, Pokoon1124, so thank you so much, I'm so sorry if I got your name wrong, oh gosh. I, I can be a little bit of a silly thing when it comes to reading sometimes. I'll be very excited to add you in too. And oh my goodness, what do we have here? <laughs> Zookeeper Siri. So here is Zookeeper Siri, you guys. And then we've actually got some additional drawings. We've got a lovely dragon right here. Look at that. that actually, we're going to be adding in a lot of mythical creatures when we get to our uh, side series that has to do with farming. So we're actually going to be mixing in a lot of mythical creatures, and it's going to be awesome. And then it looks like we have like a little vulture right here. 
Like, you know, we don't have any vultures other than the vulture of uh, prophecy or like the... What was he? The messenger. That's right. The messenger in zoo crafting. So thank you so much. I'm very excited to add you in as an NPC. I'm still going through. We've been adding in a ton more NPCs and trees, especially the older ones that uh, are kind of behind the scenes that I'm going to be revealing over the next few weeks. So I'm really excited for that. And thank you. I'm really, ah, I'm so happy to see how people are still so in love with zoo crafting because I still try to bring my best to it every day. And it's so fun because it's a daily special sort of series where it's kind of like going home when I log on to the server. It's like a home that's been there for me for a long time through all of the moves through everything and just to be able to expand it with you guys day after day is very comforting it really is all right so let's go ahead and we're going to open up these two little packages right here and this one is actually all the way over from manchester so let's see what we have over here you guys okay my brutals are being silly all right so this one's from manchester i'm really excited we're getting a lot of mail from uh england lately it seems and i'm gonna careful 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 it's very neatly packaged oh good look at all that fluff and stuff in here making sure whatever's in here is nice and safe all right oh my gosh oh, i think i know who this is are you kidding is this really you my friend is this really you um you guys look who it is you know who this is you know who this is i know who this is i can't believe that <laughs> oh my goodness all right i'm i'm skimming through this really quickly if all has gone to plan you should find a few gifts the first is a photo of my peacock plushie that i bought during a, a trip to a bird sanctuary that trip was probably one that affirmed my love for birds i don't know if you can tell but in the background of that photo i'm standing in front of your zoo crafting house and i can see it now that you say it sir now that you say it mr pavo he is indeed standing in front of the zoo crafting house you guys this is from pavo this is from pavo also in the envelope are two drawings. Drawing is not really a strong point of mine, but hopefully you can tell what they are. I have also sent you two handmade polymer clay models. I am certain they will be looked after in a very loving home. I just want to conclude this letter by saying thank you for the incredible opportunity being able to join zoo crafting. I will never forget how kind you've been to me or the very first message that started it all. You've given me opportunity to make so many new friends, both on zoo crafting and the YouTube community, and your hard work has given me the determination to continue my channel and modding, without which, uh, without which without you definitely wouldn't be uh definitely wouldn't be where it is now all of the best from pavocado and he says say hi to chips for him and i totally will you guys this is from pavo this is the first time i have ever physically held anything from another zoo crafter wow wow <laughs> and yes and it has been the absolute best experience to have pavo on the server with us it has been that continual growth of creativity and friendship and people who work hard to bring their creative visions to life. And I hope you guys are enjoying Pavo's series and his hard work. He's the one who made the Exotic Birds mod and has done so much. He's made our little paddle boat mod too. He's done so much for us. And I hope you guys are really enjoying what he does because he is amazing at what he does and he's still learning too. And that's the really cool thing is that we're all always still learning and progressing and what we try to create. Also, let's see what's down here. Oh, look at the baby finches. Oh my gosh, look at those. Look at those. You guys, what do you think? It's you, huh? Or at least some of you. They're all watching really quietly. <laughs> and then let's look at these. Oh my gosh, thank you, Pavo. I had no idea you were actually going to like send these my way. I remember seeing when he made these on Twitter. And they're very carefully packaged, so I think they survived the overseas travel well so let me just gently oh my gosh oh look at that you guys look at this detail oh my goodness okay we've got little puppy number one and he can't quite get in the camera range darn and then if this is what i think it is i think anasia is gonna really she's gonna be very excited to see it being created too all right let me open you up all right, you guys. Gently, 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 gently. It's a squeakin! It's a squeakin, you guys! Look at the squeakin' Pablo made for us! Oh my goodness, I am in love. 
Oh my gosh, these are some of the most precious, special things. Oh my gosh, that I have ever gotten. Thank you so much, Pablo. Thank you, and he's gonna hear about it. You can bet for sure, you guys. He's about to hear about it in like five minutes here when we're done with this video. I'm going to be spamming him so hard with my excitement over having gotten this package. And that'll be, that'll be, just rest assured that he's about to get like absolutely avalanched with sheer serious excitement. Cause this is amazing. This is, I have like goosebumps. Other than Anasia's, I have Anasia's mug that she made for her Squickens Rule the World mug. Other than that, this is the first time I've ever held anything from the other zoo crafters. And it's a really cool feeling. <laughs> oh my gosh. So just to kind of breathe and calm down and let that sort of settle, we'll wrap up with our last little, little, well not little, beautiful, uh, beautiful large envelope of the day with all sorts of really nice drawings on it. And this is from Utah. So I actually have a ton of family, like a lot of family out in Utah. And it's got some awesome drawings. We'll cover up the, the front. It's got some amazing drawings on the front of so many animals. And I'm really hopeful that that means that opening it up inside will reveal so many more drawings that have been created. So let's carefully open this envelope. And this is always so fun because I know when an envelope comes that most likely somebody has a drawing that they worked very hard on that they went above and beyond to try to make sure it didn't even bend. So I try to be really gentle in opening these things. And let's gently pull this open, make sure I have everything. Wow, it's a whole stack of stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys are just so awesome. Everybody is just so awesome. Oh, okay, I've got to finish because I'm starting to feel like overwhelmed with joy. Oh gosh, all right, you can read on camera. Dear Siri, I love you so much. You are my favorite YouTuber. And I have a few questions. Are you going to do Siri summaries again? Where has Unravel been? Are you going to bring back Viva Pinata? That's all the questions I have. And this is to K from Cadence. So Cadence, to answer your questions really quickly, am I going to do Siri summaries again? I may try. That extra little bit of editing um, when we're already doing like behind the scenes 50 episodes a week is a little bit much for me. But if I can ever catch up on the things I'm trying to do again, I loved the idea of Siri summaries and if I can ever convince like um, my sister I've been trying to get her to help me with like some of the behind the scenes stuff but I haven't quite haven't quite dragged her into the chaotic swirl of constant busyness that is uh, the pixel biology channel behind the scenes but if I can ever get her to help me then I will hopefully have series summaries going again because it was just a nice way to summarize what we had done over the past week and make it really fun to get little snippets of everything that had been going on in all of the different episodes and all of the different series and then where has Unravel been? I've been exhausted and sick behind the scenes. And so I like to record Unravel when I'm kind of in a really calm, emotional place because I like to tell you guys real memories that I have that mean a lot to me. And I also try to wait until it's night because I want them to be quiet. <laughs> Because there's these really like touching, emotional, beautiful scenes in Unravel, and then when my birds just decide to go scratch, scratch, scratch in the background sometimes, it's like, you guys, you guys, that's okay in zoo crafting and, and like zoo tycoon too and some of the other stuff, but really, you guys. <laughs> I did it again! I pushed my phone too far. I'm sorry, phone, hang in there. So Cadence, yeah, it was just when I combined that I like start working at seven in the morning with how many things we're doing, with that I've been feeling sick and that Chips has been feeling sick. I would get to the end of the night and I'm like, okay, time to record Unravel. And then I'd be asleep. So I'm working on that. I want to work my way through all of Unravel. As you guys know, we've got Yarny. Yarny's over here. Yarny's over here. I'm gonna put him down with my little, my little squeakin'. I have squeakin'. All right, you hang out over here for a second, Yarny. And the team, the Unravel team were so kind to me. They were so amazing that they even invited me out to go fly, fly me to California and have me play Unravel was stunning for a YouTuber as small as I am. And then I had to turn them down and they were still really nice and sent me Yarny and like the do-it-yourself Yarny that I'm going to be making on a vlog was amazing. Like they're really wonderfully kind people um, behind the scenes too. And it was it was fantastic just to get a chance to interact with them a little bit like that. And just in case you're wondering, they didn't pay me to like record Unravel and I really wanna do them justice by being able to present it at my best. And I think I like freaked myself out, but I'm getting rambly now, so let me keep going. Am I going to bring back Viva Pinata? And I totally plan to. I've shown you guys in previous like 
community update vlogs that the Xbox 360 is literally sitting right there and I should be playing on it and I'm just not able to keep up with my current pace of work because I have loaded myself up with so many series but it is on my little list of series I want to see come back in the next month or so so don't worry it will be coming back I'm going to restart um, probably our game so that we can keep going we can keep a good pace we can name all of the pinatas it can be really fun and we can try to catch as many of them as possible it's kind of like can you catch them all only it's with pinatas all right uh, I really think you should have more subscribers than you have. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And it's it's not really about the subscribers either, because only like 25% of the people who watch our stuff are subscribed. And that usually means that most of them aren't allowed to have YouTube accounts. I get a ton of letters from people who aren't allowed YouTube accounts. So that's totally fine. For me, the point is that even just one person out there is getting something amazing from our adventures together that you guys all get something that is like creativity and excitement that's happiness that's joy that's just being able to see little glimmers of friendship being formed that's able to set examples for just going out and enjoying a walk in your own backyard and it's just what we've created encompasses so many opportunities for all of you just to have something fun to listen to or something to help give you happiness or joy or a sense of somebody just who really believes in you trying to cheer you on every day and to me that's always been the overall goal that and quite honestly being able to make sure my family's taken care of and as long as those things are met then I don't really if we grow we grow and if we don't I'm still so full of joy every day, you guys. And now I'm getting sappy, so I better wrap up. This always happens when Siri gets too emotional about all the snail mail, so let me keep going. All right. <clears throat> I love all the series you do, even though I am only on episode 400 in Zoo Crafting Season 1 and haven't even seen any of Season 2 or 3. Oh, and because of you, and oh, Siri, and oh, and Siri, because of you, I know more about the natural world. You also inspired me to get a little baby crested gecko, Cosmo. Oh, congratulations. I love my night crusty geckos, Cosmo, because of your specimen Saturday featuring Mello. And Mello is doing very well, by the way. We will hopefully be seeing more of her soon. I drew a picture of Cosmo so you can see what he looks like. Keep up the great work from Cadence. And she has drawn a gorgeous little bird and beautiful flowers. Oh, and here's little Cosmo. All right. So here's her crusty gecko, Cosmo. Right here, you guys. Look at that. I love it. If you guys haven't seen my Crested Geckos, we have lots of vlogs on them and our updates and vlogs, like past community updates uh, and Specimen Saturday, I think is what they're under. And I think you guys would enjoy it. My Crested Geckos are pretty darn cool, I have to admit it. And then we've got Viva Pinata fan art. Oh my gosh, I think that's like some of our very first Viva Pinata fan art ever. And then we've got Twin Bark Town fan art right here. Elephant herds and stuff. Yes, there are elephant herds roaming with our stray dogs. We're trying to work on that. I have not forgotten Twin Bark Town. Just with so many things that are going on. Oh my gosh. And then the Zodiac No Tail. I always wanted this. This is something I've always, 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 always wanted from our Spore series. The Zodiac No Tail are these tiny little dragons that I always picture just fitting into the hand of the Leo Plea that we are playing in our Spore Tooth and Claw edition. And this is so fun. This is just this is one of like you start getting these little things that you really really desperately wanted to see fan art of but you don't want to ask because it seems a little bit like greedy and this is one of them this and thistledown eating berries out of uh, our star stable series was definitely some of the fan art i wanted to see oh my gosh thank you so much oh cadence Oh, and it's Yarny! You guys, it's Yarny! We've got more Yarny fan art! Oh, I've got to share that with the guys who are behind Unravel. Oh my goodness, Yarny, it's you! Look at that, it's you! With your little apple bobbing bridge! And then we've got Zoo Tycoon 2 Island Treasures right here. Our spotted couscous, which are adorable. The Galapagos tortoise. I really need to get back to the Zoo Tycoon 2 episodes, too. There's just been so much to do. <laughs> this time it's not even in the zoo. And then we've got a whole bunch of our animals from zoo crafting. This is a throwback to the first season, you guys. Look at this. Broomtail, Pepper. Here's Iris, Lily. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's Bob, Sunflower, and Aster Seed. Oh, the plesiosaurs, which I probably pronounced horribly correct, like incorrectly. Oh, Dale! Oh, and the lake ducks. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to see how the adventures we had over a year and a half ago are still fresh and exciting for new people coming in. It is just, it's so awesome. Oh my goodness! The slime rancher Largos. So we have more, more slimes. 
I am actually thinking about making the slimes in zoo crafting, you guys. I really am. And if you guys think that would be a cool idea, let me know. Because I think it would be amazing. Look at all these. Amazing to have the slimes in our Minecraft series, too. Just so we can, like, have a slime ranch. Like, a literal slime ranch. Well, ooh. If we had, like, the Galacticraft mod and went to the moon, and then you had slime ranches there, that would be really cool. That would be awesome. I'm almost tempted to see if I can learn how to mod slimes, like, and make my own slimes. And create slimes. Like, you could feed a slime another thing and turn them into a Largo. Oh, Slime Rancher is just begging to be made into a, a zoo crafting thing. So hang in there, you guys. This is this is so fun. I love seeing all of the slimes you guys love. Slime Rancher is so popular. Oh my gosh, it's Moss Leaf from our Warrior Cat series. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Melanie Warrior, Thistledown and Saga, and Mushrooms Next to a Tree from Star Stable Online. Oh, Cadence, I think you have seen so many of our series. Oh my gosh. There's even a cow plant. There's even a cow plant from Sims 4. I am going to get so inspired to start recording so many things tonight to try to cover all of the stories that are being introduced. And then Brother's Journey. Luna and Soul starred the moon pack. Then Soul Eclipse carried on, uh, then their son Eclipse carried on the pack. His mate Twilight soon got sick during the second litter and died. He had only two sons survive. Nightlight carried on the moon pack, and Atlas carried on a new pack, the Stormy Skies pack. Moondancer and Nyx have all of their pups survive with their next pack. Rain and Zephyr took lead of the Stormy Skies pack, but only one, but sadly only one survived. So we have, oh my gosh! <laughs> It's a family tree! It's a Wolf Quest family tree! This is like the third Wolf Quest. Oh my goodness. And there's even some on the back too. Look at that detail, you guys. This is amazing. And we even have Lunala and Copper and Glenn and Misty. Oh my gosh. You guys love for Wolf Quest. And the fact that we've kept it going for over 100 episodes and over 100 wolves. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best for you guys. And I am I am blown away. This is beautiful. Angel and Twilight, Atlas and Storm. This is amazing. Everything you guys have sent in is so amazing. And and you guys saw the really special moment when I managed to get my very first like physical gift in my hands from another zoo crafter. And that's fantastic. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm blown away. I'm going to be silly emotional theory and just go and sit down and stare at this whole pile of letters. Like I am absolutely enchanted like you wouldn't even believe. And then we will be back tomorrow to open up the other pile we've got back there. And I'm just going to like walk around in a daze afterward because you are all fantastic to everybody who's able to build up this community. So don't forget, you guys, it's not just those of you who send in things. It's just the people who... Even if you don't have a YouTube like account, even if you can never comment or you're too shy to comment or you just don't want to, if you can take away something good from our adventures together, anything, just a smile, an easy way to pass the afternoon, a new fact you learned, the urge to be kind to somebody, the urge to encourage someone's curiosity, to tell someone that that's a really good question if they have like questions about the natural world or anything in life, curiosity is essential, then it's fantastic. That's 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 what builds our community. No matter what you do, sending things in, donating, like buying a mushroom, uh, commenting on every single video, sending in awesome emails, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is, even if it's just taking away that one little smidgen of happiness that can hopefully give you a smile during the day, I just know that that kind of good energy will go forward and do really good things in the world. So. That's what builds up our community. Even that little tiny pinch, all the way up to the big stuff that people do. And I hope you guys can have some of that. And like I said, I'm, I knew I was going to get Babylay Siri again. So I won't keep you guys any longer. But I will see you tomorrow for the other half of our snow mill videos. So until next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>